USS Enterprise is honored to have you aboard, Mr. President. Strange. Where are the musicians? That's taped music, sir. A starship on active duty never carries an honor detachment. Taped music, you say? Well, perhaps Mr. Spock will be good enough to explain that to me later. A most interesting way to come aboard, Captain. What was the device used? An energy matter scrambler, sir. The molecules in your body are converted into energy, then beamed into this chamber and reconverted back into their original pattern. Well, since I am obviously here, and quite whole, <laughs> whatever you mean apparently works very well indeed. Gentlemen, if those are weapons, please lower them. At my age, I'm afraid I'm not very dangerous. Human, Jim. All too human, Dr. McCoy. Happy to make your acquaintance, sir. Mr. President, may I present my officers? Commander Spock, second in command. Engineering Officer Scott. And Security Officer Dickerson. Mr. Spock, Mr. Scott, Mr. Dickerson. Gentlemen, I hope to talk to each of you. But meanwhile, your captain is consumed with questions, and I shall do my utmost to answer them. And I trust your duties will permit time to answer some of mine. At your service, Captain. Lieutenant Dickerson, you and your men may return to quarters. Mr. President. A most interesting vessel. Just what was it you locked onto before you beamed him aboard? You heard Mr. Spock yourself. Mineral, he called it, like living rock. And that became Lincoln. I couldn't tell. May have been another figure down there standing by. What do you make of it? I'm not quite sure.